Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm going to say our customary blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people of Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel. May we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence and enlighten you may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. We have two reads today. And... The first one is 1 Peter 1, 3 through 9. Blessed be Elohim, the Father of our Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, according to His great mercy. He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Yeshua HaMashiach from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you who by Elohim's power is being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that perishes through it, is tested by fire. may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Yeshua HaMashiach, Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not see him, you believe in him and rejoice that joy that rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. And the seventh read for this week is one Peter two eleven through seventeen. Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to obtain to abstain from the passion of the flesh, which wage war against your soul. Keep your conduct among the Gentiles honorable, so that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may see your good deeds and glorify Elohim on the day of visitation. Be subject for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether it be to the emperor or as supreme, or to governors, as sent by him to punish those who do evil and to praise those who do good. For this is the will of Elohim, that by doing good you should put to silence the ignorance of foolish people. Live as people who are free, not using your freedom as a cover-up for evil, but living as servants of Elohim. Honor everyone, love the brotherhood, fear Elohim, honor the emperor. Blessed art thou, Adonai, King of the universe, who gives the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Brukata Adonai, Alahenu, Malakalo, Masher, Natar, Lenu, Teramet, Vaishie, Alom, Natar, Betekenu, Brukata Adonai, Notin, Hatara.